let's find the derivative of this function differentiate 5x to the power of 3 and we have 15x to the power of 2 which we have differentiated using the power rule of derivatives next let's differentiate the sine inverse of x when you differentiate the sine inverse of x you're going to get 1 divide the square root of 1 minus x squared hence we have this as the derivative next let's differentiate sine x from the basic derivative table when you differentiate sine x you're going to get cos x hence the derivative of sine x is cos x next let's find the derivative of tan inverse of x when you differentiate tan inverse of x you're going to get 1 divide 1 plus x squared hence the derivative of tan inverse of x is this and this is our dy dx next let's find the derivative of this function let's differentiate tan x from the basic derivative table when you differentiate tan x you're going to get sec squared x hence sec squared x becomes the derivative of tan x next let's differentiate cosec inverse of x when you differentiate cosec inverse of x you are going to get minus 1 divide x multiply the square root of x squared minus 1 and this becomes the derivative of cosec inverse of x next let's find the derivative of arc cos x arc cos x is the same thing as cos inverse of x and when you differentiate arc cos x you are going to get minus 1 divide the square root of 1 minus x squared and this becomes the derivative of arc cos x which is same as cos inverse of x cleaning up our results minus multiply minus and we're going to have plus and minus multiply plus we're going to have minus and this becomes our dy dx this is calculus in the next video we are going to consider the differentiation of logarithms and exponentials of other bases